But coming up next, we're in the Fox Eye Kitchen cooking with kids and taste testing with we're cooking with kids. Oh, cooking with oh, you, kids are cooking with us. Okay. Uh, yeah. With uh, Kowalski chef Rachel Parrott says is the best French toast recipe ever. That's her guy in there. We'll be right back. Dip some more in. All right, welcome back. It is time to grab the kids and head into the kitchen. Chef Rachel Perrin from Kowalski's is here to help us get our little people involved in meal planning as well as cooking. And she brought her son with her today. Arthur, welcome, Arthur. Hi. Hi. Thanks for being with us to both of you. Now, he, you, he, you guys are going to teach me something because right. I'm the one that doesn't know how to cook here. Right. So today we're making what? Uh, we are making French toast. A little mm -hmm. French toast, okay. What's so. really important about this French toast, though, is the bread here. Yes, today. yes. We're using a very special kind of bread. Is that the key to the good, yes. the good this stuff? Yes, this is the key to the best French toast you've ever had. You're the restaurant quality, really thick, really moist, really rich French toast is challah bread. So that's this uh -huh. almost braided looking bread here. Uh -huh. um, it's got a little bit of egg in the dough so it's extra rich and it's kind of sweet, a beautiful yellow color. But it works really well with the dipping mixture that you use in French toast. And Arthur's going to put some on the griddle mm -hmm. right now. Why don't you go ahead and throw that one I on there. I have to because you know I, I always wonder like how, like I used to have just used the regular bread to sure. make my French toast. You have to let that soak a long time to get it all the way through. You do. You? you need to give yes, it a, yeah. like maybe a minute. Yeah, back probably a minute. a minute or so on each side so that it kind of gets all the way through to the center so that it's not dry in the Mm -hmm. and it's not like eggy on the outside. Arthur, is this your favorite thing to cook? Is, is that um, what we're help you helping us out yes, today? Yes, yes. I've um, made um, many mistakes, though, without putting canola oil or anything <laughs> on. So oh. it's coming out as a disaster. Oh. Right? Okay, yeah. all right. Well, we know, know to use the canola oil. That's then. right. Canola, and we also got a little bit of butter in there, too, because butter tastes good. But the, again, the secret here is the bread. And I was brought up a bunch of other different types of bread here to talk to you mm -hmm. about today. Because okay. uh, we, we like to think about pairing bread with foods, like the challah with the French toast, like we do pair wine with, with foods as sure, well. Sure, sure. Um, and there's a little bit of a, of a method here. So when it comes to, like, saucy foods, pasta, things that have maybe even a pan sauce to them, something that's got some nooks and crannies in it, okay. a little bit of holes mm -hmm. in it, like this ciabatta here is a really good choice because it's going to give you something to kind of sop up with. Okay. If you're looking at really um, intensely flavored foods like salmon and game, they stand up well to intensely flavored bread, intensely fl flavored bread, like pumpernickel, we've got a caraway rye. Um, those two can stand up really well to one another. Yeah, and these probably wouldn't be so good though for French toast. So they it really would, you have to be exactly. specific. Right, on what you want you're something choosing. that's okay. mild or maybe a little bit sweet. But as far as other breakfast breads, things sure. with fruit in them, those are going to work well for breakfast breads or toast in general. Hmm. Um, soups are great with cheese breads, like this three cheese semolina. Um, something that's a little bit dense that can soak up your your broth or whatever. And then baguettes are a really good all around bread. Fruits, mm -hmm. cheeses, but they, they've got a nice mild um, flavor but their texture is crusty so they work really well with soft cheeses or delicate things like salads and some of those um, a little bit healthier too mildly flavored fish maybe just the regular just really stuff. interesting yeah. too but thinking about pairing it with what you're eating i think is really the key there so aj's got some french toast coming off the griddle here that looks and he, he were checking mine even yeah. Yeah. yes thank you he's chef he's got your back today he's got my back today i appreciate that what's in the french I toast uh, mix here that we're putting on the bread well, we have eggs, milk, and honey. Honey? Honey. Honey, yeah. Really? We like a little honey in ours. How much? Um, uh, about a half of a teaspoon yeah. to a teaspoon, depending on how many pieces you're making. Okay. But the general rule for French toast is about one egg per one quarter cup milk, and we're using that very standard mixture okay, here. Okay. And you can, of course, flavor it with something else. We've also got a little bit of vanilla paste in here. Vanilla but you could, paste, all right. Which, or vanilla extract, almond extract. Okay. You could also go with um, nutmeg, cinnamon, whatever kind of works for you. And it just adds a little toast. bit of flavor, yeah. just boosts it a little bit. The okay. key really is just the egg to milk ratio and then using the right the right bread. And this definitely is the right bread, isn't it, Arthur? Yes. Yeah. We, and how long are we letting them cook then, generally? About um, the browns or? Uh, we, I'll take it to the browns, but golden isn't really golden. a good thing for um, uh, challah bread because sometimes it's a little too soft still. So I like to cook it till it's brown. We do want it to be brown, but ultimately what you'll notice with this bread is it'll puff up in the center when yeah, it's done. Yeah. Because oh. the, the moisture in the bread is going to kind of um, create steam. It's going to create this little lift in the middle of the, the bread here. How are you careful, though, so that it's cooked all the way through but not burned as thick as the bread is? You know, I, I tend, I'll be honest with you, I tend to burn things and it's kind of, a, it's problem. Kind of an issue. No, no, you want to, want to burn it. Use a medium to medium um, low heat. You don't okay. want anything that's really too high. It should bubble like it is doing here around the edges okay. of the. You see it kind oh, of bubbling sure. right around the yep. edges of the French toast. Okay. Um, so that we know it's cooking, but it's not you know 
it's not getting burned on the uh, other side. And like Arthur does here, he just checks it to make sure that it gets not getting too dark. And it's if you beautiful. need to, you can adjust the heat down a little well, bit. But watch for that puffing action, which you see right here yep. in the middle of his toes. A, yep. good, and puff. a good puff yeah, in the middle means that one's done. And when done. she says um, puff, you can try this. If you're making French toast with challah, you can... Um, uh, once you think it's ready, you can compare it to one of the non-heated yeah, bread. Yeah, it'll be puffier than the, yeah, the non-heated bread. That Man, is right. Man, he is a good kitchen he know, helper. He knows. That's right. You that can one's come to fun. my house anytime, Arthur. Exactly. All, All right. right. What do you like with your French toast? Are we talking powdered sugar or syrup? Which one? Or both? You know, um, I don't like to put too much sugar on, but sometimes I will put um, powdered sugar on my French toast. It definitely looks beautiful, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Whatever yes. the mood is, huh? Yeah. All right. And then, of course, a good pairing with the fruit there so and then here again you can kind of see that little puff action right there in the top of the bread yeah. it's just kind of puffy okay and that's what all we're right. really looking for there so all right wonderful well, rachel and arthur thanks so much we appreciate it thanks, thanks for so all your help you're yeah, a terrific you're help today and we are going to toss it over to mr frazier for a look at our forecast